Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV, where we're coming to you today for, from the floor of Tech Capital's International Finance Forum here in a beautiful uh, building right in the heart of London. I'm Barb Mitchell, and I'm pleased to be joined by Fabiola Bordino, who is the Country Manager and Chief Sustainability Officer for PGI and Engineering. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. We see each other, I feel like, in, in nice spots around the world. It's a great day, a full agenda here at Tech Capital. And I would, I would love for you to share first with our audience just a little bit about PGI Engineering. Okay, so I joined PGI Engineering around six months ago. And uh, what they do is engineering and consultancy. Uh, we started off by doing a lot of buildings, a lot of infrastructure, and they have moved on into this beautiful industry that is called the data center world, and that's where I come in. Um, PGI Engineering not only does designs and builds the data centers, but they have a sustainability offer right from the beginning. So it actually does everything that I believe, and I've been trying to evangelize that since the beginning, that sustainability is not like, oops, we need to think about sustainability once it's built or once we doing operation, it's actually one before when we think about it in strategy and that's what we do and that's what I want to bring more and more into this amazing industry. I, I think it, it's, I was very, very interested uh, for the opportunity to speak with you today because, you know, of course, we're talking so much in the digital infrastructure space around the growth of AI, the demands that that's causing for things like especially power, a lot of people are talking about. But also, the other piece of this is how do we grow sustainably? I love the fact that you your title says it all, Chief Sustainability Officer. What does that mean? Why is it important for there to be a role like yours in your organization and in the industry? So ultimately, and I always say this, I hope that my title doesn't exist in a couple of years because it should be integrated. So it's in, in the same way that you have departments for everything, that it's finance score in every company, or you have operations, sustainability score in everything. Since the, the company itself, how it runs and what they believe and how they have their um, colleagues and workers. Uh, but in, in engineering, it is very, very important that you have sustainability from the very beginning. And bearing in mind, I work with engineers. Mm. There are, <laughs> if I can yeah. say, very squared. So it, it is changing a perspective of guys, instead of building and materials and equipment, let's think about that, but let's think about it in a way that is sustainable. And sustainable is not just the ESG, which are check in the box, very important, but it's, I always think it's like an umbrella, ESG is somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. So you need to build more, faster, yeah. denser, now it's like the big thing, because of AI obviously, and our hyperscalers who are very demanding clients, as we all know. But we need, before we start doing all of that, we need to think about building sustainably. Why? Because if we build at the, at the speed that everyone wants without thinking about it, without having a strategy, by the end of construction, which takes 12, 18, a couple of years, your building will be obsolete because the materials are not there anymore or you can't um, have the density of the racks who are very heavy or the cooling system is not there because it's ever evolving or the materials are just not green, equipment is obsolete. Uh, so you really need to start thinking before you act, and you will save time and money, which is very important. And what would you say are the, if you could think, I mean, absolutely, thinking ahead and, and planning ahead and having these um, considerations as, as part of the plan before you even begin is so important. What do you think are the levers people can pull most rapidly to make a difference in this area? And, and sort of what are the, some of the, the trends impacting how companies are able to go to market from a, more sustainably? Well, the, the first one is clearly uh, design in a sustainable way. That's the first one. It's easy. You just need to engage your design team or your engineering team with sustainability. And it's not just the check with the certifications. Think outside the box. Think about circularity. Think, so, think about people who are around you in, uh, in the data center, what, where you can get some heat or energy or reuse. 
just think outside of your silo. And, and then what you, it, it definitely a, a growing trend is the cooling, which is ever evolving because you need more denser. And ultimately, I mean, everyone's talking about racks or megawatts are going to be in one tiny rack. How are you going to cool that? That is insane. And cooling that is, is a lot of power. So it's all about managing the power that needs to be renewable, but then you have the issue with the grids who need to keep up with data centers because or else you're going to have blackouts like we had in Iberia, yeah. which was, in my perspective, amazing. We had, I had a day off almost. My kids loved it. Uh, socially was chaotic. People got insane. And if you think about it, economically was a disaster. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money lost there. So uh, we definitely need to start thinking as data centers to be the balancing of the grid. Yeah, it's, I mean, we see those. I know that was a major event uh, that we, you know, was witnessed around the world, but in so many areas, uh, events like that have been happening. You mentioned, you know, at the beginning of our, our talk here today about how you hope your role isn't needed in a few years because just this thinking is so integrated. Let's build on that a little, and this is my, my, my last question for you, but, um, where do you see things being a year from now or 18 months from now? Do you think much will have changed? What, what is the trajectory in your opinion? There's two ways things can change in terms of sustainability because people still think that sustainability is a cost center. So because they would see a capex increase, they won't see the opex decrease. So ultimately you need to look at the total cost of ownership, right? Um, and there's two major points that could help you on that. And one of them will be regulation, so it's like the stick in the carrot, ultimately. Um, it, it works in Europe, it works very well. When we're talking about the US, it's a very different beast, uh, so it won't work there. But then you have the end client. So if the hyperscalers really um, mean it, and they really do it, then we can change. But we, we need someone to, to pull it. and. That, that needs to be one of the hyper skills. So actually, walk the talk. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's, you know, I always feel like these conversations are so brief, but it's such a pleasure, as always, to, to connect and to, to hear from you. We look forward to hearing more as the years uh, progress. But thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV, where we're coming to today from Tech Capital's International Finance Forum, talking to leaders across the digital infrastructure space. Stay tuned as we bring more conversations to you throughout the rest of the day. Until then, happy networking.